This session we're going to discuss deleted item recovery. So let's kind of go up here. So off of our home ribbon underneath utilities, if I open my little drop down here, I will see deleted item recovery. So deleted item recovery allows you to do a couple things here. First of all, you have a date range setting. So what this allows you to do is go back as far as you want to search for something in your database. Now, it doesn't matter how long you've been using the database. You can always go back to day one of using it. Okay. Second, where do you want to search? You do have the capability of searching for a profit center that you may have deleted, a service category, a contact card, a service item, an inventory item, or a work order. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go delete a service item, and I'm going to show you how you can recover that vehicle. So let's get out of here for just a second. We're going to go to contacts. I'm going to pull up a customer named Bill Smith and open a drop down. So let's say that Bill comes in and says he no longer owns this Ford F-150. Okay. So what we have the capability of doing here is we can right click on it, delete it, and we delete it out of the system. So what are we actually doing here? All we're doing is deleting it out of our program, but it is still sitting on the servers. This will always be sitting on the servers. So I'm going to pull it out of my program. And now I no longer have that vehicle. Sometimes what happens is you need to bring a vehicle back. So I'm going to go into my utilities, go to deleted item recovery, pick the time frame that I want to search in, tell it where I'm going to search, and let's go look for it. So Bill brings that vehicle back for whatever reason, or it may come back with somebody else. Type in what it is. There it is. It lets me know the date it was deleted, who it is. And the nice thing about this is you can always double check this entry. So if I simply click on it, I can go up here and see the vehicle card. And I can even see if there's any invoices. And I can open these invoices up. So all I do is just double click on it and here's my invoices. Okay. The other nice feature that we have back here in deleted item recovery is as soon as you hover your mouse, a little pop-up comes up, lets you know your deletion date and who deleted it. So it would be whoever the user was that was logged in when it was deleted. Now if I wish to put this back into service, bring it back into my contact list, all I do is just simply leave it highlighted and I hit recover. Now it's going to put it back under Bill Smith. So now I've recovered that vehicle. So I'll go back to my contacts. Let's go search again. Open it up. There it is. And the nice thing about this is it brings back all the history with it. So I don't really lose anything. Now, even if you do delete a vehicle or a contact out of your system, that history will always be in the reporting. You never actually lose that. It's just that when I recover it, then it's going to bring back the current invoices, uh, past invoices for you. Another feature we have back here, and this is kind of nice, is you can always go back in time. You know, I'm going to come back 12 months here. Let's say I'm looking for a work order. I'm not sure the work order number. Okay, may not even remember the name. So I can open it up, and I can use what's called a wildcard. Wildcard could be something like an asterisk symbol. So I just type that in. I hit search. You see, it just pulls up everything. So it pulls up everything under work orders over the last 12 months. And again, the nice thing is I can always scroll through here and look at this stuff. I can click on it. See, here's appointments and work orders. So I can click it. There's my appointment. Here's an actual work order. 
And if I want to put any of this back in the system, just simply hit Recover. And then you can utilize it again. So you don't really lose any of this stuff. Like I said, it just sits on the servers. And that is deleted item recovery.